and rugged. You've got to be able to take it. Your body's got to be able to take it. Because service means new physical demands on strength and endurance. That's why in military training you have to march long distances, carry heavy loads, do hard manual labor, Use your body skillfully. Be ready for instant action. Withstand strains and tensions. Live under all conditions. Be prepared for anything and everything. Are you ready physically for this training? Well, when you enter service, ready or not, the physical training begins immediately. And it will go on every day. It's going to be rough and rugged training to toughen you up. If you aren't ready for it, you're going to have more than your share of sore muscles, aching feet, poor endurance, exhaustion, strain, and awkwardness. Yes, it can be tough for you if you aren't ready physically. It can be a lot easier for you if you are. And if you are ready, later it may mean the difference between failure and success. It may even mean saving a life yours or a buddy's. Getting ready physically means beginning right now while you're still in school to get in condition. How do you go about it? First, consider how much time you have to get ready. A freshman has a good four years. He can plan a fairly extensive program for himself. The same for a sophomore. He has a good stretch of time to get in shape. A junior has some time, but not too much. He has to work a little harder than the others. A senior doesn't have much time to get ready, but it can be done if each man takes personal responsibility for his physical condition. The next step is a complete health examination, and we mean complete. Don't be satisfied with just a quick checkup. Eyes, ears, nose, throat, posture, reflexes, abdominal organs, skin, feet. These are some of the most important things to have checked. Above all, your heart and lungs need examination. Have your chest x-rayed. Find out for sure about your health. Don't forget your teeth. Have them examined. Check up on your health and be ready to correct any health problems you have. The third step in your program is to check your physical ability. To help you do this, a set of physical achievement standards has been prepared by the Armed Forces Committee of the American Association for Health physical education and recreation. 
There are minimum standards that help you check your physical condition. Think how well you would do now on the tests. Here's one of them. Climb a 15-foot rope in 20 seconds or less. Here's another. Do six or more dips on the parallel bars. Can you do six or more chins? At least 45 sit-ups. Broad jump, seven feet or more. Run 300 yards in 42 seconds. Throw a softball 175 feet. Float for at least two minutes. Swim 40 yards or more. Step off a 10-foot platform with your clothes on. Find out how you measure up to these standards and you'll have a good idea of your present physical ability.